What's up everybody? It's your boy JP, back again with another video. And today I have the OnePlus Nord N20 5G. Now, you can pick this up at T-Mobile for uh, between $280 and $290. Uh, they do have um, deals if you add a line uh, or, or whatever, you know, where they, where they, you know, where it's free, you know, they, they, uh, you know, you know how they, they add it to your monthly bill, but they subtract it, you know, uh, just to show you that you're getting the deal. But as I said, I think you have to add a line. Um, but Metro is where the deal is at for this phone, which is normally the case. Uh, if you, if you, um, port your number over to Metro, that's not already a, a number from a T-Mobile provider. Um, it is, uh, whew, what is it? Sixty nine ninety nine, I think. Sixty nine ninety nine. Um, uh, you have to, uh, of course, get the sixty dollar plan. Of course, in the fine print, it says you can get away with the forty dollar plan. But uh, nonetheless, you know, you uh, you know, you you you. Whatever plan they make you get, you know the phone itself is is seventy dollars if you if you pour it in a number that's not already a uh, you know with a T-Mobile service provider. But um, it's a phenomenal deal, honestly. I love this phone. Uh, it has six gigs of RAM, one hundred and twenty eight gigs internal. It's expandable. Uh, it has the Snapdragon six ninety five. It has the um. It has an it has a always on AMOLED panel. Uh, they did they did step it back from the ninety hertz that the N ten was, but Pete, what I said before that that this is an AMOLED screen. The N ten was an LCD, so it's you know you, you basically you it's it, it's a trade off. You went you know you 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 went back down to a standard sixty hertz refresh rate with the N twenty here, but you got an AMOLED panel in place of that ninety hertz refresh rate. Uh, some people you know some people everyone has different preferences. Some may have preferred the uh, the, the the higher refresh rate with the LCD. Personally, if it's not a hundred and twenty hertz, I'm okay with the downgrade really to an AMOLED screen. And even and even then. Even if we're discussing a 120 hertz LCD screen, I mean, you know, you know, going down to a 60 hertz AMOLED, you know, that is at least full HD plus, as is the case here. Um, it's, you know, it honestly kind of depends on my mood. You know, I, I might tell you one day that I take the 120 LCD over a, you know, over a 60 AMOLED, but you know, it's the next day I might tell you the opposite. Really, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know, um. In fact, you know, the phone, I got another phone the same day I got this phone last week, which I'll uh, be doing a video on shortly. The uh, Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. And it is a prime example. It has a, all the specs are almost the same. Processor, you know, specifically. And it has a 120 hertz LCD screen. Uh, you know, and, and, and somebody might prefer that because Motorola's LCD screens are generally some of the best, you know, besides TCL. And, um, you know, and you're also getting a bigger screen at that, a 6.7 inch or no, actually a 6.8 inch. I'm sorry. Um, here with the N20, you're getting a almost 6.4 inch display. I think it's like, ah, heck, I don't even know the exact number, but I think it's 6.4 inches. But again, it is full HD plus. Uh, it is uh, AMOLED, Super AMOLED, and um, you know, really, the phone is so smooth that I kind of feel like it is ninety hertz. Really, like it, it, uh, it just, it doesn't seem like it. It's any less smooth than the N ten was, uh, and that may be that may be partially, or, you know, or or even all due to the fact that this has a, you know, a a much more powerful processor. Uh, um, you know, um, the N10, if I'm not mistaken, had a Snapdragon 690, because I know that the N200 5G had the 480 5G, whereas this right here has a 695, and I know what you're thinking, well, Justin, it can't be that much more powerful, the 695 doesn't seem like a huge step from the 690, but it actually is, it actually is a 6, 
The 695 is a very underrated processor. It was announced the same time as the Snapdragon um, uh, 778G+. Plus. And um, last year, late last year. So it's it's not an old processor. Uh, you know, besides Redmi, and I'm sure Realme has one too. Uh, OnePlus and Motorola, you know, jumped on you know jumped on board you know this processor and and, and putting it in um uh, in uh, some pretty feature packed um very generously spec otherwise you know phones uh in my opinion really but uh this phone is uh has has, has been the talk of of a lot of uh, a lot of websites a lot of reviewers uh and and they have been they have been positive really um this phone, this phone is awesome. The uh, the build quality, I, I absolutely love the build quality. Um, it just it, it feels it just feels fantastic. It feels premium. It has a I don't know if I I can't I, I, I can barely catch it on camera, but if you look, it has like a satin look to it. A satin. It, it's not really a texture though. It's not a satin texture. It just looks satin. It, it and it's beautiful. I mean it. It sounds and feels like glass. What well, partially sounds like glass. It feels like glass, but I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Uh, but not in this. But not like Samsung's glastic. It does not feel cheap at all. Uh, it feels extremely premium in the hand. It has that very squared offish design that's kind of becoming the thing for 2022. And uh, and 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 I really dig it. A lot of people absolutely love the camera modules on this phone, and I I, I have to agree. Uh, it is a 64 megapixel quote unquote ultra shot, uh, and yes, for the price for what you're getting, the pictures are decent. Honestly, of course, it's not going to be a strong suit. I mean, you know, but um, I mean the, the the phone is great. I mean, it, it's it's the the AMOLED screen is fantastic, and I mean it. it I mean it. There's no hiccup in it. I mean the thing is the thing just runs just amazing um i have just been ultra impressed with this phone here i really have it does have your uh, your headphone jack there usb type c your speaker your separate power button volume rockers are also separated over here your uh, your sim tray which also has a micro e- spot for micro sd um i mean it's it's a uh, you know the, the the bezels are very minimal the chin don't let this video fool you. Right now on camera, it looks like the chin is huge. It, it, it's def- The phone is definitely not symmetrical like a Galaxy S22 or a Pixel 6. Um, but that chin is, 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 is you know, it's not, a, it, it's not bad. Uh, but, you know, and, the, and obviously the rest of the bezels, as you can tell, are, are very minimalistic there. Uh, the, the, the hole punch, which is off to the side there, it's not centered, um, is, is, decently small i've seen them smaller but i've also seen them much bigger than that um uh, you know and and it's just yeah uh it does have 33 watt voot charge super voot charge and there's your uh, your red cable of course you know um which is you know an icon for one plus it's very iconic uh the box you know so nothing really special to the box other than that there you know um there's a reading material there and your sim ejector tool uh but uh, the day after this phone actually came out in the U.S., OnePlus Overseas announced the OnePlus 10R and the OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite, which is a mouthful, which is odd because the CE is already a Nord Lite. The Nord Ns, which I think are exclusively sold in the U.S., are another variant of Nord uh, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a Nord Lite. Um, and then now they've done come out with a light version of a light phone, which was originally for a phone, the Nord, the original Nords, which were like light versions of the original one pluses, <laughs> which is odd. Um, and of course everyone knows that the Nord was originally, the original Nord, a lot of people, you know, uh, one plus one, they, 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 they really kind of tried to market that like, like the one plus X from years ago. But it's really funny because this phone right here, the N20, is the phone that everyone is really kind of um, comparing to the OnePlus X. And I don't know if it's because the Ns are exclusive to the U.S. and the X was released in the U.S., whereas the other Nords aren't, but the Ns are. 
And the X was a global phone, like the regular One Pluses, like the flagships. Um, so, you know, maybe they just mean that as, you know, as far as the United States goes, maybe. Uh, at first, I kind of sat back and thought maybe it was because of the AMOLED screen, because the N's never had the AMOLED screens until just now. The N20 is the first N Nord N with the AMOLED screen. But then the regular Nords and the Nord CEs also have AMOLED screens. So that couldn't have been it. So only thing I could think of is that when people said, say that this is like the new age OnePlus X, they, they're they meaning maybe for the U.S. market only. Um, I don't know, honestly. But I could see why they say that because this phone is fantastic. It really is. Um, speaking about AMOLED screens and, and the Nords, you know, and the CEs having them and not the ends until now, that's kind of where I was going at. It's odd because they announced the OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite, which um, is um, almost has the same exact specs. Snapdragon 695, uh, you know, the you know, six gigs of RAM. It's expand, you know, the, the internal memory has has, you know, your 128 gigs of internal storage. It's it's expandable. Uh the screen is slightly larger. It's a 6.6 inch on the CE2 Lite, but it's also LCD. Um, you know, and the Nords and the Nord CEs were were have all been AMOLED. It's the Nord ends that weren't. But now the CE Lite, the, the, the CE2 Lite is actually the first CE Lite. There wasn't ever a regular Nord CE Lite. The 2 light is the first light for the CEs anyways, you know, as confusing as that is. But it's an LCD screen, whereas right here with the U.S. Nord N20, it's AMOLED. Slightly smaller, but it's AMOLED. Now with the CE2 light, you are getting a higher refresh rate, a higher than standard refresh rate. I say higher than standard because I don't remember if it's 90 hertz or 120 hertz. I think it's 120 hertz, but it may just be 90. But nonetheless... I use that terminology that's higher than standard because everyone knows that the standard refresh rate is 60 hertz. Um, so you have to kind of, you know, it's it, it's you have to, you know, it's your preference which one you prefer out of the two. Um, you know, uh, it's a, it's only a 6.6 inch. It'd be different if it was a 6.8 inch like the Motorola I was talking about a couple minutes ago. That does kind of make a difference there as, as you know, what, what, you know, what you're, what you decide on. But, um, yeah, this this phone is is an absolute winner. This phone's an absolute go. Um, you know, for the price, it it can't be beat. I, I mean, I just got done talking about you know the uh, the blue F ninety two five G, and how for its price, two to three hundred, depending on what sale you're, you you catch it on on Amazon. You know, in, in, in any of those prices are fantastic prices for that phone, and it still is. But this phone is hot. Uh, both phones have a 60 hertz refresh rate but this phone is amoled the blue isn't see i kind of feel like the blue should have had a higher than standard refresh rate um i think it's definitely time because they don't have one and it was their first 5g phone it could have been also at the same time their first phone with the you know with the high refresh rate i think um i wouldn't say they dropped the ball i mean again for the price I mean, you can't expect the kitchen sink. I mean, I I think they did great with that phone, and you know the LCD is very punchy on it, like 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 some of your really good Motorola and TCL phones. Um, and and Blue has also really been churning out some of the best LCD, you know, equipped phones. I think in the past couple of years. Um, but nonetheless, um, this phone it does get uh 5G. It also gets 5G UC ultra capacity. Uh, I, I've, I've seen both on this phone right now. You just see 5G, but at my job, it, it'll say 5G UC, and it is blazing fast. I mean, it's faster than anything I've experienced on AT&T. I mean, even even in parts of the city where, because I get 5G AT&T at the house as well, and uh, I only recently started getting T-Mobile 5G. Uh, but I've, I've been getting AT&T 5G since they launched it here uh, in April of 2020, which has been two years now. Over two years because it's it's May now, um, but there's other parts of the city where the 5G on AT and T is just noticeably quicker than it is at the house. Um, this even though the signal bars are the same, it's just you know, um, and I'm sure different technologies play a role in that. But T-Mobile, the 5G is faster, and when I'm getting 5G UC, oh man, I man, it's it's insanely fast. I mean, it it it. 
it blows my eyes out of the sockets. It's crazy. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, off top, you know, for the price, just the fact that you get the 33 watt super boot charger in the, in, you know, in the box is just amazing. I mean, again, it's, it's a 290 ish, 280 ish dollar phone. Uh, T-Mobile has that weird 282 price tag, but I think, I think Metro, if you were to buy outright, you're a current customer, you're not porting in or anything, I'd, I think it's 279 or something like that, but $69.99 with the port in, with your $60 plan, you can't beat it. Um, this phone is a banger, I mean, it hasn't slowed down at all, I mean, it feels like a flagship, I love the squarish design, I love the build quality, I, I realize the back is plastic, but man, it does not feel plastic. It, it doesn't even fully sound like plastic when I click on it with my fingernail, as you saw already. That that granite, or not granite, but that satin look on the back with that with that very small uh, shimmer that's not too much like your Samsung Glastic phones have that, that, that really end up looking more cheap than fancy. No, this phone, this phone is a win. I mean, it's just a beautiful design. And then that, and then that camera module and of course that strip down on the bottom I, I can't it's hard for me to, oh, there you go i can show it to you like that that strip on the bottom is a very nice touch it's like a jet black or, or piano black and it and it, and it, it it's different from the rest of the back of the phone like a two-tone on well it is a two-tone but it's a it's a small two-tone but it's gorgeous and um it's just it's very classy it's very classy like i said people love the camera modules on this phone um they hit it out of the ballpark, honestly, with this phone, I think. I I, I really think they did. I just, um, this, this phone is a winner. I mean, it really is. It just doesn't really get any better than this for this price tag. Um, but other than that, you know, um, uh, it's, it's stockish Android. Um, uh, my only two gripes are the, the haptic feedback sucks on it, which is usually the case in these phones. I mean, come on now. Um, and it has Android 11 instead of Android 12, because even the Motorola has Android 12 out of the box. The Moto G 5G 2022, uh, the 4G didn't, but the 5G one does. The 5G stylus, uh, 5, whatever you want, you know, the Motorola, you know, you know what I'm talking about. This has Android 11, not 12, which means it has oxygen in 11. It's 11.3 to be exact, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it is guaranteed an o one OS update. And that's that, and that's kind of that's kind of my only gripe. It'd be different if it had Android 12 out of the box, and you guarantee one OS update because that means it would get Android 13. But since it has 11 out of the box, and you're guaranteeing one OS update, I mean, obviously it's going to be Android 12, which has been out for a few months now. So it's not, you know, it's just you know, it's not the same. Uh, but I understand why they went with it. It's tried and true. Uh, there were several OnePlus phones a few months back that had issues being updated to Android 12. But then again, it's different when it's built into it like the OnePlus 10 Pro is. That has Android 12 out of the box. I reviewed that phone and I didn't notice a single glitch in it. I mean, that thing ran like a dream. And, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, and that's because it had Android 12 out of the box, not updated. You know, um, you know, there are differences. I think anyways, um, but nonetheless, at this price point, man, 99.9% .9 of the people that are going to buy this phone don't even care about that. I mean, they don't even know and what Android 12 is if it, if it, if it, you know, walked up, you know, walked up out of the phone and slapped you silly. So, I mean, you know, and it's in it. And honestly, the system doesn't, I don't really see any difference anyways between this and the OnePlus uh, uh, 10 Pro that I reviewed. Uh, besides some exclusive Android 12 features, you know, Android 12, not Oxygen 12, but Android 12 features, uh, you know, the little things like being able to turn off the microphone and front facing camera from the, the, the toggle settings on, on the, on the drop down menu, for example. Um, but other than that, this phone, you know, it, it's, you're not going to care really for this price. It, it's, 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 it's crazy. Don't, I, I wouldn't, it's just not. It's not worth it to even care about that. This phone is great. OnePlus hit it out of the park with this phone. Um, again, the refresh rate thing doesn't even bother me. You're getting an AMOLED screen, which I think is a, you know, tremendous trade-off. Um, I mean, what what more can I say? This phone is great. Uh, I mean, if you're looking to switch to Metro, 
go get this phone. This phone is sick. I mean, it really is. For the price, it, it's not going to get much better than this. It's really not. I mean, even $100 more is not going to get you that much better of a phone or even a better phone at all. Um, it's great. <laughs> now, of course, I can't test it on AT&T, which I know a lot of y'all like until I get it unlocked. And I'm working on that now. So I'll let y'all know in the comments later on or in the description. I may edit it and, and say something in there. But anyways, in the meantime, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.